What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about the Morrowind DLC being free to everyone. Yesterday Zoss put out an article about this. I will link it down in the description if you would like to read over it for yourself. But it said starting now you can explore the home of the Dark Elves with free access to the Elder Scrolls Online Morrowind DLC. It said with the High Isles prologue coming soon, we wanted to ensure that absolutely everyone in the game can experience the first step on the road to the upcoming chapter by awarding the Morrowind DLC free to all players starting now and for the foreseeable future. So I'm not sure if it's going to be free permanently. I would assume it would be, uh, but it is interesting that they did say for the foreseeable future, your ESO account has access to Morrowind upon logging into the game. Note, if your account does not appear to have access to the DLC, you can pick it up from the DLC section of the in-game crown store at no cost. Another thing that kind of went on to say this changes or this change gives you a gives you permanent access to Vardenfell zone and storyline, including access to the halls of fabrication trial and the upcoming high Isles prologue quest. This is more on that in the future. Note, this does not give you access to the warden class. So if you pick this up for free, you don't own it. You're going to not have access to that warden class. You're still going to have to purchase that warden class. So this is a little bit different than it was when the Vardenfell DLC actually was released. That Warden class was part of that when you purchased that DLC, you know, that year when it was released for the big story kind of art or the big story chapter. But if you want the Warden class, you're still going to have to purchase that kind of down the road. Um, it's kind of interesting that they're tying this into the High Isles prologue quest. I'm not sure exactly how this is going to tie in, uh, you know, what kind of storylines may cross here or something. So there's something going on that we're going to find out about. Uh, in the near future of how this is going to kind of go hand in hand with the new chapter that's coming out this summer. Now, I know a lot of people in the community really have no issue with this, and I don't either, but I know there's going to be some out there that are going to complain about this, saying we purchased this DLC. It's crazy that they're giving it away for free. I really have no issue with it. I do understand that some players may, and that's perfectly fine. That's your opinion. But I really have no issue with it because this DLC has, you know, Vardenfell came out a long time ago. They've already done this with the Imperial City DLC as well. Uh, they gave Imperial City uh, DLC away for free to everyone. And when that happened, I kind of thought at that point, they're going to continue doing this every couple years. They'll wait, you know, several years down the road. And some of these older DLCs, they'll probably start giving away because most players, you know, that are new may not have access to this. They may not have ESO+. Plus. Uh, some of these DLCs, like the bigger chapters, you can purchase, you know, within these bundles for the Elder Scrolls Online. You can buy a lot of bundles that have all the big DLC chapters included with them. And I think they're probably going to eventually only have some of the newer DLC chapters included in these bundles. And some of the older ones, they may start to give away for free because if they don't, that's going to be a lot of stuff they have to include within, you know, a bundle for the game. There's been a lot of big story DLCs over the last several years. So I think this is probably going to be a trend we continue to see. Now, will this happen every year? Definitely not. I say every couple of years, they'll probably probably give away some of these older DLCs. I am curious to see exactly what they mean by for the foreseeable future. I would assume once they have given this away for free, it would stay free permanently, but that may not be the case. But leave me a comment with your thoughts. If you've never played the Morrowind uh, story, it is a great story, very fun story. Of course, if you played you know some of the older ESO games, it's going to look very familiar, of course, but... Overall, I think it's a good idea that they're giving this away. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you are new to the game. Let me know when you start playing this, if you're interested in it, if you enjoy the story arc. And of course, let me know if it also makes you want to buy that Warden class, because I think that's another thing that they're going to kind of get out of this. Um, you know, not only they're going to give this away, but they're still going to make a little bit off of it because people are going to want to purchase that Warden class if they do not own it already. So let me know what you think down in the comment section. Of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.